You're watching Giants now. Mitchell Rance from Chat Sports, ready to get into today's news and rumors around the New York Giants. And I know I'm not Marshall Green, and I apologize for that. But I figured, you know what? I figured you guys at least would want a video instead of not getting a video at all. Now, the reason why it's me breaking everything down is because we do have some kind of breaking news here. Mike Kafka, quarterback coach of the Kansas City Chiefs, he is set to be the next offensive coordinator of the New York football giants. The deal is not officially done yet, but it is very close. This would be a slam dunk of a type of hire. Now, major shout out to my team here at Chat Sports for building this graphic because Mike Garofolo has blocked me on all things social media. The Giants are expected to hire Chiefs quarterback Mike Kafka as their offensive coordinator. Sources tell me and Rap Sheet, deal not done yet, but that's the way it's headed. So what I want you guys to do right now is go down to the comment section and give me that one word reaction to the Giants hiring Kafka as the OC. I grew up in central Pennsylvania, but my entire family grew up near Long Island. They went to Comac High School. I got a bunch of family that are big time Giants fans, and I know that they are going to be reacting to this move here. So please, I'm going to send them this video, so don't let me down. What is your one word reaction to the Giants going out and hiring Kafka? My one word is smart. I love Kafka. Hell, I was making videos here at Chat Sports as Kafka as a head coach candidate last year. Well, his ability to be able to connect with players and especially his ability to be able to connect with Patch Mahomes is one of the biggest reasons why he was given this job. I get it. Andy Reid gets a lot of credit. Eric B. Enemy gets a lot of credit. But you know who deserves more credit? Mike Kafka. Why? Because Patch Mahomes can't stop smiling about him and can't stop hyping him up. Landon Kafka as an OC is a major addition. And I know, y'all, you've been, it's been a really tough few years for a lot of Giants fans, right? Essentially since Eli Manning left. But the staff that this team is putting together in New York is so far one of my favorite that I've seen thus far this offseason. Obviously, it starts with Brian Dable, and now you're going to Mike Kafka, who back in 2016 was Northwestern GA. For those who don't know, Northwestern, very, very smart school there. Quality control coach for Kansas City in 2017. Q quarterback coach in 2018 to 2019. QB and pass game coordinator the last three years. So essentially, ever since Patrick Mahomes has been in the league. Other OC candidates that New York was at least talking to. Ken Dorsey, Chad O'Shea, and then Pep Hamilton. I like Pep Hamilton a lot. Dorsey took the Bills offensive coordinator job, so like that's why you see him up there. But O'Shea was a good name overall, but this was by far the best candidate out of the remaining ones. So it's time to go back to school. I want you to grade the hiring of Kafka. A, you absolutely love it. It's a slam dunk. B, it's a good hire. C, it's an okay hire. D, it was bad. F, it was a big old F because, well, we've all been to school, right? Now, even though Kafka has yet to call plays in the NFL, learning behind the enemy, learning behind Andy Reid, this is an A hire for me. I mean, and when you really talk about some of the bright young quarterbacks in the National Football League, I think of Josh Allen, and I think of Patrick Mahomes. Everything that Brian Dable was able to do with Josh Allen, because you go back and look at some of his numbers at Wyoming in 2016-2017, he had a completion percentage under 58%. Then you look at what he did as a rookie, as a sophomore, and now the Josh Allen that we know, major leaps and bounds. Then you have Patrick Mahomes, who Mahomes was a good quarterback. He would sling it around at Texas Tech. But if you told me that you could watch Patrick Mahomes' tape at Texas Tech and he was going to be what he is now, I would have said, you're crazier than Spacefield. So for that reason, you have Dable, you have Mike Kafka together on one unit. That means good things for Daniel Jones, which we'll talk about here in just a second. Now, I get it. I'm not the usual guy here on Giants now. I do a lot of other stuff here at Chat Sports. My guy, Marshall Green, I don't know if he's getting ready to compete in the Olympics or what he's doing, but he flew out to Los Angeles. He's into flag football. He's doing a whole bunch of awesome stuff out there. And if you want to see Marshall Green back on this YouTube channel, I need 25 people to comment me. Okay, so if you're watching right now, you want Marshall Green back, 
comment me to make sure that Marshall does come back. Because if we don't get 25 me's, I don't know if he's going to have a job. Just a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But to make sure you guys never miss any news or rumors, whether it's Marshall, whether it's me, or whether it's anybody a part of the chat sports team, there's nobody out there that works harder than we do trying to keep all of our NFL teams, trying to keep Giants fans up to date. News, rumors, the offseason is by far the most important time to subscribe and turn on those notifications because you don't want to be that Giants fan talking about XYZ. Who are they going to go out and hire as an OC? Because I know if you were in my family, my Uncle Wayne would look at you and be like, dude, get with the program. You want to know how you get with the program? By hitting that sub button. Now let's talk about Daniel Jones because when you heard about all the discussion this offseason was, how can we get Daniel Jones to the best of his ability? How can you make the former sixth overall pick out of Duke worth it? Because when they originally did it, I was like, man, I wasn't totally sold on the move. Jones, no doubt, has had a lot of turnover issues. But at 6'5", 220 pounds, if you can get him to bulk up a little bit, that's what you're hoping for. But if you want to make sure that Daniel Jones was not a wasted pick, you go out and get Brian Dable as a head coach. You go out and get Mike Kafka as an offensive coordinator. Now, back in 2019, in his 12 starts, he had a completion percentage of 61.9, 3,027 yards, 24 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions. You are hoping that he makes the leap that you saw very similar to Josh Allen. Now, a lot of times people are like, all right, Mitch, you're just some guy on YouTube. Why am I going to take your advice? Well, maybe you've heard of this guy, Patrick Mahomes, and this is what he had to say about Mike Kafka. He had a big imprint on what I did in developing me to become the player that I am. He stays on me. He preaches the fundamentals. For somebody like me who likes to get away from that sometimes, it's good to have that in person in your ear that's just telling you to take what's there, keeping your feet in the right spot, Make the throw the right way because that stuff, what I need, it's the stuff that makes me better with every single day. If you watch Daniel Jones, you're going to be able to figure out that having a guy like Kafka in his ear, having a guy like Brian Dable on the sideline is absolutely going to help him. So here's your chance to go down in the comment section. Is Daniel Jones the guy? I want you to type Y for yes, or I want you to type N for no. If you don't know if he's the guy, if Daniel Jones can't get it done, after having Brian Dable and after having Mike Kafka, then the answer is no. But now is going to be your chance. So this is going to be a prove it year for Daniel Jones. But let me know. Is he the guy? Yes or no? If anybody out there wants to bet on Super Bowl 56, here's what you got to do. I love watching every single football game. And even for people out there that might not be all that interested in the game, Bet US, the deal we have going on with them, is the best in the on uh, best in the entire world. Actually, that's a fun little fact. But uh, if you go to chatsports.com slash bet, promo code chat125 gets you 125% deposit bonus. So if you put down 100, you can get $125 for free. If you are new to betting, I guarantee you this. You put down five, 10, 20 dollars on a game, and you are gonna be so locked and loaded into that game, it makes it so much more fun. Now, you can bet on the Rams since they're four-and-a-half-point favorites. If you want to bet on the over-under of this game at 48-and-a-half, for those who don't know what over-under means, it means the total points scored between both teams. You can bet on how long the national anthem is, the coin toss, the Gatorade, with Super Bowl, the amount of prop bets. You're going to have a lot of fun. So go to chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code chat125. That's the only way you're going to get that 125% deposit bonus. Now, I was hyping up this giant staff because – this is a pretty solid staff. You got the quarterback's coach, Shea Tierney, offensive line coach of Bobby Johnson. I read that almost as Bobby Boucher. Patrick Graham at D.C. The defensive backs coach is Jerome Henderson. Jerome Henderson, excuse me. And then Thomas as the special teams coach. I can't even read that. I got to get my glasses. I know. We're, we're, we're trying to deal with the snow here at Chat Sports. We got all sorts of producers back at home. So what's your confidence level as it stands right now? And this New York Giants coaching staff, scale it from 1 to 100. 1 being, you just absolutely hate it. 100 being, it might be the best damn staff in the entire league. The number that I'm going to sit with, sit with right now, because there's still a few more positions to go, but let's face it, the NFL is an offensive quarterback-driven league. You got my top guy in Brian Dable. You got the top quarterback coach in Matt Kafka, Mike Kafka, so for that reason, I'm probably going to be somewhere around a 90, a 95. Now, I know Gettleman's no longer here, so we'll see what the defensive linemen look like. But you can't deny this fact. The Giants are building a strong staff. And for a team 
for a fan base that for a long time wants to get back in that winning column, you're doing the right thing. Now, there's going to be a lot more stuff that happens this entire offseason, whether it's trades, whether it's free agency, whether it's the NFL draft. I know my guy Marshall Green is going to be keeping you up to date. Show him some love. Hit that sub button and enjoy the rest of your day.